Good evening. An Abilene man who was hospitalized after contracting COVID-19 says he believes a controversial anti-malaria drug saved his life. K-Texas reporter Daniela Ibarra spoke with him in a story you'll see first on K-Texas. In March, 55-year-old Malcolm Johnson felt some of the worst pain he says he's ever felt in his entire life. I couldn't lay down. I started getting congestion bad, coughing a lot. My favor was weird because it would go up and down, up and down. He was sent to the emergency room at Hendrick Medical Center, where he was diagnosed with pneumonia and COVID-19. My breathing was real shallow. Uh, I lost my sense of taste and smell. Malcolm says doctors gave him several antibiotics, as well as 200 milligrams of hydroxychloroquine, a drug meant to treat malaria. When they gave that to me, I said it was that day I, I began to to move around and do stuff and and talk. I mean, I, could, I felt better. The FDA has warned against using the drug to treat coronavirus patients, saying it could have harmful side effects like heart rhythm or kidney problems. A Brazilian study published by the New England Journal of Medicine argues hydroxychloroquine doesn't help with the virus. Despite this, Malcolm says he would take the drug again in a heartbeat. And I didn't care. Uh, they gave it to me and it worked. I'd take it again. And I'd recommend it. Malcolm has since recovered from COVID-19. I realized it was really bad, and I should have understood that from the beginning. A type 2 diabetic, Malcolm says his COVID-19 diagnosis was a wake-up call to get his health in check. Daniela Ibarra, KTexas News. And we've reached out to Hendrick Regional Medical Center to find out how many coronavirus patients they've treated with the drug. We're still waiting to hear back.